so now we'll get started with postman so in this session we will be downloading the postman tool we'll be installing it on windows so i'll be doing it on windows 10 but you can have your own windows version then we'll also go through some of the uh, features of postman on the postman ui and then uh, finally we'll create an account uh, in our postman so that we can use it later so let's get started so go to your browser and go to postman.com right so in this home page of postman so you'll find a lot of information but we are looking for the setup for downloading on windows right so you can click on the download link and it will take you to its setup so so most probably uh, it will automatically uh, get which which kind of operating system you are working on and it will show the download link for you so i'm doing it for download uh, windows but if you want to install for mac os or linux you can click on these links to download the setup right so the latest version is 7.26.1 so click on download and it will download it to your uh, download section right so to save some time i already downloaded it it should not take much time so once you downloaded the setup uh, just the installation is pretty simple you can double click uh, on the installer and uh, you can go through the setup right so everything happens in the background uh, you don't even need to enter anything uh, while doing this setup so it is going to take some time to uh, launch the installer so i'll just pause the video for a few seconds okay as you can see uh, the installer has started it is telling installing postman and uh, soon you will see uh, the postman ui so you won't see any other uh, things going on uh, on the installer everything is happening in the background right so let's wait for the ui to come up for postman and then we'll see what are the different features which are available in postman we'll just have an overview and in the later sessions we'll go through each of the features in details so as you can see it did not take much time the postman ui is up and running on windows so let's see uh, some of the features of this tool so this is where you can uh, create a request right so you can choose any type of request get post put patch delete so there are number of requests which you can make you can enter the request url and click on send and it will send that api request right then um, you can set environment variables here you can uh, so you can set global variables you can set environment variables for your api requests uh, while you are sending requests you can also see your history so what kind of requests uh, you have sent from a from your uh, postman right you can import uh, or drag and drop this uh, api data into postman directly and it will reformat everything for you uh, here right you can create collection of your requests uh, right and you can also sign in to create your own api so that it will be available throughout your um, workspace right there's also something called collection runner where you can run your collections right once you create your collection of apis you can uh, run them here so you can have different environments where you can run them and choose that environment here right uh, you can select also file uh, to run that file so and you can also run that from the command line right so these are the different features of postman uh, it's only a high level view of what postman consists of we are going to look at it one by one each feature we are going to look at it but right now uh, let's go ahead and just uh, create an account so that while we are signed in uh, our settings and our apis will remain constant whenever we are signed in from any device right so 
yeah, we'll we'll do that. And right, uh, create a free free account. Now, if remember uh, the license, it doesn't cost you anything. If you are working alone, um, you're. But if you are working in a bigger team, uh, probably you need to purchase some license. But still, it's not that costly compared to other tools, right? So let's give it a name. And I'll choose some So I'll choose all right. Uh, let's continue. So I will continue without a team, but you can go ahead and also so that will actually create my workspace. Now, whenever I log in with this credentials in any other machine, my workspace will remain intact, right? So that's the, uh, that's the use of creating an account actually. So you can also run uh, without creating an account, but it's better to create a new account and start running it, right? So that's it uh, I wanted to show you in this session. Uh, join me in the later sessions where we'll talk about the different features of Postman and we'll go in details.